Hey, welcome back. I'm Joel, and today I'm going to go over my stock photography and video sales for the month of July 2023. Whether you're a new or a seasoned stock contributor, stick around as we'll be discussing my actual earnings as well as showing you examples of all of the images and videos that are selling for me. Now, if you're here to learn what my stock photography earnings were in July, go ahead and type in July 1000 in the comments below. I appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and get started. Now July was actually a pretty productive month for me. Um, I spent most of the month in my favorite town in Bulgaria, uh, in Bonsko, uh, basically just kind of working on my work-life balance uh, between my other, like taking pictures and stock images and editing and stuff, as well as my other Wandering Harps website and YouTube channel. I did manage to get a few images and videos uploaded into to multiple stock photography agencies in July. And that was part of that was for the July stock photography challenge. Now, if you didn't see that or weren't a part of that, I did make a little video about it. If you're interested, you can check that out. And it's basically all of the images and videos that I submitted in the month of July. Also, I made a video explaining basically Wirestock's most recent announcement um, where it has ended free submissions for everybody. Now, by the time you're watching this, you may already be familiar with it, but if not, uh, definitely check out the video I did up there, especially if you are contributing to Wirestock um, or have been contributing and just haven't done so in a while. Definitely recommend checking that out so you can kind of see what's up there. Okay, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into my stock earnings. So let's start with the images that I sold in July from stock agencies with really low sales. Now these are the ones I like to call my dishonorable mentions. Um, July's dishonorable mentions were Wirestock, iStock Getty, Canva 123RF, and Deposit Photos. This is a palm tree in Santa Monica. This is sold through iStock Getty. Here we've got a herd of horses in a dusty corral. This sold on Wirestock, but through Shutterstock. And here we have a shot of a woman holding a COVID swab in her hands. This sold on 123RF. Next is this landscape image of these vineyards in Lake Chelan, Washington. That also sold through Wirestock via Adobe. Here we've got a vertical image of the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains at sunset, and that actually sold on deposit photos. And this image is a pretty famous pink hotel, the Don Cesar in Florida. And that actually sold on deposit photos as well. Actually, it sold several times across multiple agencies in July. So in total, I earned $5.15 from all of them combined, which is pretty low. So you're probably getting an idea. This month was not a good one for me. So let's go and get into all of the agencies that I didn't earn anything from at all. I had no sales on uh, Video Hive, I Am, Pond5, Canva, Alame, Dreams Time, and also the Marketplace Fine Art America. So now as far as where I did get sales, there weren't a whole lot more. Um, essentially, Adobe stock was a decent one for me. A decent is relative term, obviously, in this month because there's not a lot of sales there. I had $5 in earnings from Adobe stock, and that was from seven different images. Now, my portfolio there is 650 images and 79 videos. Now, here's a couple of the images that sold, beginning with this high angle shot of a red sand beach in Puerto Rico. It's actually Playa Colora. Next, we have this idyllic image of June Lake in North Central California, and this was also shot in the fall time. This next image is a silhouette of these rowers against a lovely sunset. This was actually shot in Florida a couple years ago. And finally, we have this lighthouse on a distant hill in Fajardo, Puerto Rico, surrounded by palm trees. Now, before I get into my best agency for the month of July, do me a favor and give this video a like to help others find this content. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, you can do so now. And if any of my videos have helped you at all with your uh, stock photography journey, then you can show your appreciation by using any of the links in my description. You can also say thanks with a super, which is something that I have not experienced yet. So one of you could be the first <laughs> to give me a super, I guess, and see what that's like. I'm not sure what the cut is. We'll see how much I actually earn from that with the YouTube. Um, or you can always buy me a beer as well, and there's a link in the description for that. All of this is 
very much appreciated. And so thank you in advance. Okay, so now my best stock agency in July was Shutterstock, where I had 14 image downloads uh, bringing in, well, let's just say they were disappointing earnings. Um, I would love to tell you what I actually made, but Shutterstock just made a update to their contributor agreement at the beginning of September. And since I'm filming this quite late, because <laughs> I'm a little behind on these earnings videos, it's already past the time which I could upload that. So this new contract is in effect. So if I don't want to jeopardize my account being shut down by disclosing that. Honestly, it's kind of stupid because uh, Shutterstock is one of the most consistent agencies for me and I know for most of you as well. And, you know, I don't know why it would hurt for us to like share what we're earning because it gives you a realistic idea of what your time and effort is going to, you know, what it brings about. But, um, so like I said, I won't be sharing any more earnings, um, at least not exact earnings, because uh, I don't wish to have that account suspended. So now my portfolio on Shutterstock is 766 images and 92 videos. Now I'll go ahead and start with the highest earning images sales with these shots here. This cowboy leading his horse in the arid southwest of Texas uh, actually earned me a little bit of, it was a pretty decent little sale for me. Next, we had this editorial image of a road sign in California for a town called Weed. So you can imagine why people were using <laughs> for downloading that image. Uh, that also did pretty good for me. The other images that sold for me in July this bromelade flower, which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, uh, which is found in the El Junque rainforest in Puerto Rico. This landscape image of the Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains. This is from the view of the Owens River Valley in California. And next we have these shots of the Don Cesar Hotel in St. Pete, Florida. And I told you, you're gonna see those again. This first shot here sold three times and the second wide shot sold twice for me. My totals for July were $15.70 from 31 image sales and zero video sales, which is really, really disappointing. It's actually one of the lowest months I've had in, in quite a while, actually going back to when I first started in 2020. So especially for the number of image sales that I had for 31, 15 bucks is really bad. So that's severely disappointing. Here are the totals by agency. Now, of course, one more thing before you click off this video, you can check out my other channel, Wandering Hearts, to see some more of my travel videos if you're interested in that sort of thing. Thanks again for watching, and I hope that this video at least inspires you uh, with your own stock photography and video journey. Cheers.